Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Brian here and it's time to catch a buzz. Alright, so a short time back, my friend Alex, who's the owner of Snack Jockey Foods out of the UK, had given me a, a, a suggestion to make a drink called a Snake Bite Black, and um, which basically is a snake bite with black courant added to it. Now, I figured I, I will eventually do that one, but I might as well go ahead and start off by showing you all what basically a snake bite is for those of you who are unfamiliar. And I honestly had never had one before until he made the suggestion. I thought it would be a great idea to make a video. So basically when you make a snake bite, you need two things. You need a uh, Pilsner beer and you need some kind of hard cider. Now we're gonna take a quick look at the two that I chose to make this drink with. Polestar Pilsner from Left Hand Brewing Company is a zesty German style Pilsner with great biscuity malt flavor and a dry crisp finish. It has an alcohol content of 5.5% per volume. Sonoma Ciders The Hatchet is a clean, refreshing, certified organic hard cider with noticeable complexity and a lively finish. It has an alcohol content of 6%. So, now that we know a little bit more about the Pilsner and the hard cider that I'm going to be using to make my snake bite, let's go ahead and make the drink. Making a snake bite is as easy as mixing equal parts of your Pilsner and hard cider. Since I'm making a pint, I want one cup of each. So we'll start by taking our Polestar Pilsner and pouring out one full cup and adding that to our glass. Don't worry about the foam, it'll go down. Next we're going to take our Sonoma Cider and pour out one cup and add that directly to our mix. Next I take a spoon, any spoon will work, and just give it a quick little stir to make sure it's all mixed. And that's it. That's all it takes to make a uh, snake bite, which is a very traditional English drink. All right, so I had to take this review inside since it started raining. But the drink is all ready. The head is pretty much almost all the way disappeared. And uh, we gave it a nice little stir so everything is all mixed in there. But let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what we think there. Well, that is really good, and you can tell that the, these are organic apples they use in there. It's got such a great sweet uh, apple flavor, and you know, I'm, I'm really thinking that the Pilsner is kind of cutting out a lot of the, um, the, the really bitterness from some of the hard ciders, but in order to find out, let's go ahead and taste the uh, cider here. Again, that has your typical uh, hard cider, almost champagne-like bite to it. And then the Pilsner. Yeah, it is a nice, like they say, zesty. I'm picking up a little bit of a kind of a spicy taste there uh, up front, but it really does just kind of instantly mute the, the, uh, the taste of that, sh that champagne-like taste that you get with the uh, champagne. That's a new word. Uh, the taste you get with this hard cider, but... I'll tell you, like I say, I'm usually not a big fan of, of ciders by themselves just because it's, again, like I said, got that champagne bite to it and it's just not really one of my favorites. It's kind of a tart, uh, that's the word I was looking for. It's kind of a tart, uh, tartness to it. And I'm not really a big fan of those kind of flavor profiles. I'm more of a bitter guy. I like the IPAs and stuff, so I like that more of a, a bitter flavor, but this is really tasty. I mean, this is a great way to combine two awesome drinks and uh and enjoy it this is really good guys uh, again alex this one's for you cheers buddy and thankfully i still have enough to make another pint out of this but um anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this little brief tutorial on how to make yourself a snake bite i think this is a wonderfully delicious drink again i always like going organic as much as possible so I really do appreciate that uh, 
this is gluten free and has no sulfite so uh, definitely it's an awesome tasting cider by itself I enjoyed it uh, it didn't seem to be an overly tart cider by itself um, and then of course from Left Hand Brewing Company the uh, Polestar Pilsner is really delicious and putting these two together just made a great drink so anyway thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoy the way the reviews are kind of taking a slight change I'm going to be trying to add a little bit more production value to my videos but stay tuned I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up I'm going to be working on a um, a new credit screen at the end here soon so stay tuned for that but uh thanks for watching everybody and as always stay toasty my friends